You get me. Cymatics just dropped this pack called Euphoria. It's got like two full acapellas and it's got a bunch of vocal chops, ad libs, random vocal sounds. So I chose just this full acapella to use. We're gonna start messing around with it now. I set it to the BPM, it's 150, it's an F sharp minor. For now, we'll start it like that. And I'm thinking I wanna do some chops. The homie Steve from Cymatics, I was just with him this past weekend. Basically, the last whole week I went down to Atlanta. We shot a bunch of tutorials and a podcast when we were in New York City this past weekend. He showed me this like quick, quick vocal chop trick that I never knew how to do. I'm gonna utilize that in this video along with some techniques that I've already showed you guys. If not, if you're new to the channel, I'm gonna run through them real quick in this video as well. And we're just gonna basically cook up a beat around this acapella right here. Let's get into it. Tell me, babe, you wanna leave this town? First, I'll start off by clicking this little menu up here, go to the chop, and then we'll go in bars. So that way it's not like too much. Double click on it. We're gonna go to generic bleeding to give some smooth crossfades like this. And here's the trick that Steven told me. You click these little arrows right here. It's called slip. Literally, I have never used it up until like this past weekend when I saw him using it. So you turn that slip on. Since we already made these slices, it's only gonna slip the clips that we made. So check that out right there. That's pretty wild, right? So you could just basically like slip through the whole acapella in this one clip. Let's find like a good place to start and then just choose some random stuff, you know? Bay. And you can make a slice. You can kind of run through that one. Uh, if you hold up here, you can move them around. So that way you don't have to go back and forth between the slip and like the paintbrush or whatever. So you can pull this to slip then you can pull this to move the whole clip around. It's pretty convenient. I'm kind of learning as I'm going right now. Like I said, I never knew this trick. Let's turn the metronome on. Let's get some, let's get some grooves going. Baby this, baby this, baby this. Yeah, let's kind of mess with that one. I kind of like where that loop is going right now. You know, we can process it and add some effects to it and really go in messing around with that. Like you can create another audio clip off of that one. You can kind of like export that one to audio, bring it in as a new sample. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's send it to a mixer track and listen to it real quick. I like where that's going. So let's, uh, now that it's in the mixer, arm it to record and hit alt r start and then we can mute those chops just in case we need to go back on them again right, let's listen to that Let's try throwing good old retro color by the homies at XLN Audio Retro Color 20. Hey, so I pitched it up a little bit. Sounds fire like that. I think we're going to go with that key. And I pitched it up 500 cents. If you can see up in the top left right here, 500 cents. The original key was F sharp minor. So if you go above your keyboard like this and you look at F sharp minor, so F sharp is right here. So you go up five, one, two, three, four, five. So this should be in B minor if my calculations are correct. We can drop some samples in there or play a chord that's in B minor and you know, we'll be right in key with everything. <laughs> Come on, they're making it too easy for your boy. Let's add some like some low notes. Get a percussion loop in there, stretch, lock it into that tempo.
cut the lows out of that percussion loop. I kind of just want like the mid, mid highs on that. And I'll save like the really highs for like a hi-hat, open hi-hats, but just to give it some rhythm, some life and body, we'll go with like the high mids on this percussion loop. And I pitched it down a little bit too. Give these a little bit of stereo separation. Let's add some EQ to those chords real quick. Roll off some low end on there because we're gonna save that for the bass. Yeah, but those chords are nice. First shot. Let's go to a third beat on the second half. I'm sure you guys see me in the last video. I like doing that in the second half of the of the phrase, of, like with the hi hats, doing some triplet action. It just like uh, gives it gives it a different vibe. We'll see if it fits here. I like that. We'll speed up. Go back to a fourth. Try to stay organized a little bit as I go, but it's it's hard sometimes when you're trying to create like really fast. Let's throw like an open hat in there somewhere. Let's do it. Let's do two different open hats. This this will be dope. Throw these in the mixer real quick. It's gonna be like a fusion of like EDM style vocal chops with like a trap beat. It's gonna be kind of dope. Let's turn the pitch down in this room shot a little bit. Where you at? a counter melody add some kicks and bass and then i think i'm gonna wrap it up uh structure it we'll make this one real quick because RC20, let's add some like vinyl noise or some distortion or something. Let's check it out. sounds crazy what i did was i just turned up this pitch knob right here let's go to 12 actually let's try it on 12 because every octave equals 12 semitones i believe it is i'll turn this to 12 turn this knob all the way up so that way it just maxes out so now you're going up a full octave we messed with the pitch knob earlier where we pitched it up 500 cents so in order to get an even octave up i went to this pitch knob and then i turned the stretch mode on right here
we go to cut itself so they don't run into each other with the faster notes and then I'm gonna box it out. If you guys see my other videos, you know what this is all about. Turn the hold all the way up and everything else all the way down. For the 808, I'm gonna go back to the main melody so that way we can match these root notes up and get a nice solid bass line that matches with the chords. So we're gonna go into piano roll. This 808 is definitely one of my favorite ones that I've been using recently, so we're gonna use it again. It's from the Cobra pack, so we're gonna mess around with this. It's already, this sample is already in C, so we're already tuned up. We're gonna send it to the mixer track. And then you're gonna to wanna to look at these bottom notes. We'll try it off in a higher octave first and see what it sounds like. Well, first of all, we're going to go here, cut itself, and yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. Alright guys, so I think I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna add a couple of like risers and some transitions and I'm gonna structure the beat out, do a little bit of mixing and I'm gonna post it at the end of this video. Thank you again for watching. Make sure you share this with a friend if you get me.